Okay, so today I am going to show you how to make a grounding clip. Um, you can clip this, what is it for? You can clip this on to your uh, Faraday cage. You can clip this on to your uh, pillows uh, to make it like a grounding pillow. You can put this onto a mat for grounding mats. You can clip this on to just regular uh, uh, bracelet like this and make it as your grounding bracelet. So it's going to be a lot of um, usage for this. And it's very simple to do. I'm going to show you what you need. You will need to go to the store and get something like this. And it has to have a grounding. Oops, sorry, I'm out of camera. And it has to have a grounding here, okay? Because all we're using is the ground. Do not use these two, okay? That's all I'm going to say. If you don't know about electricity, ask someone, okay? But we are using the ground only. I'll tell you a little story. Well, you if you know about me, I'll tell you a little story. Some guy told me, uh, you are making dangerous stuff and uh, uh, if people do it wrong or something they're gonna die well I am showing you step by step in this video okay first of all if you cannot follow this easy easy step I'm sorry to say but I don't know what to tell you um, secondly if you can't follow the simple stuff or if you don't know something about electricity or whatever learn the internet is so many things for you that, that so you can teach you can learn so many things and if you don't buy a book I mean all there is is just this is they call hot in the in, in the DC world it's called positive and this is in this world here they call it neutral so it's hot and neutral that's it this is the ground and that's what that big prong is and it looks kind of different and the European and other countries they have it all different I'll find that picture and I'll link it to the last video here or I'll link it to the another video up here where I made the other ground wire which I have all the, the pictures and everything but anyway as a safety warning if you don't know about electricity or you don't know about these little simple thing there's only three there's only three hole in here one two three and if you can't figure out the wall ground they actually made the screw green too that's the ground green is for ground so they did actually give you extra stuff here they even give you the look I'll even go further there's two thing here that screw is brass that screw is silver see that so just a reminder they actually went into a protection and tell you ahead of time. They tell you everything. Even they made this thing distinctively. But anyway. So now we got this the safety gone through. Okay. Now you know about safety. And now you know which one is ground. You just need a simple wire. You would need just an alligator clip. And you would need actually an alligator clip and an alligator plug. Because the simple concept is I want to make this as simple as we can so you can just plug it in. And if something happened to this, you can just take it out and replace it in your future. See that? So that's why I made this concept, okay? So now we're going to go and just make this. All you need is a wire stripper, a screwdriver, and some duct tape not duct tape uh, electrical tape you know, you can use duct tape it don't matter because where I'm taping it doesn't really matter I'm gonna prep this ahead of time so you can um, so you can do and you see the concept in a minute oh, at the end of the video I'll do it again um, let me get a little scissor so we can cut the tape off to make things easy 
Now, you just take one end of this, and we're going into the ground, okay? The one with the green screwdriver. So we need to strip the wire, okay, about this much. And you, you might want to just double it, like so. Hope you can see. I just curl it on, onto itself. And you want to open this, this green one here, open, okay? And you want to stick this into that little slot. And it will hold down. Once you tighten this, it will hold down, okay? And that's it, okay? To prevent yanking, you want to make just a little tiny loop around here. Let me take this out a little bit so I can put a loop. Oops, sorry. Just put a loop through here. So it'll stay inside here. You see that? When you fold it, it'll stay inside here. You see this little slot? So I'm taking this advantage of the slot. So I'm going to put it in here. So it stays in here. Now, we're going to take it one more step further. So it looks like that. You see it? I hope you can see it in the video. We're going to take it one more step further to prevent from yanking. We're just going to wind this to here. Now your plugs might be different. Mine, it's just that I happen to have this red one here. I wanted to use this for the videos and I want to use it at night time. So literally I'm just winding the wire here. So when it sits onto here, you see how it's pressed together? When you screw this in, it actually presses together. Oops, let me put the screw in. It presses on and it holds tight. You see that? So literally I just put the tape there so it will be holding on tight. Now you can just screw this in together. I even show you how to measure the continuity too, okay? To be safe, okay? Because this is all about safety. So now, I have screwed that in, these two screws. And make it really tight. And now, look what happened. You can't yank it out, you can't do anything, okay? Because that tape helps you to secure, not secure, but when this clamp together, it holds on to the tape as well. So you, that's really secure now, okay? Now on this end here, we want strip a little bit. Just fold upon itself. Just upon itself, just like that. Oops, I'm out of camera again, sorry. Then loose this up. Actually, let me go get a meter. I had to go get a meter. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there. And what you're going to do is going to set this into continuities. Okay. And the continuity symbol is this little thing right here. It's like a beeping continuity. Okay. Do you see that little thing right there? Way up here. That little thing. And if you touch it together, why? that's why they call it continuity. If you touch these two lead together, it makes a contact. So it makes a beep. Now, to make sure that you're okay with these, you want to measure the continuity. Okay, and that's why they call it continuities. You touch the metal on the ground, and you touch here, it should give you a beep. That means the ground is good. That means you're using the right port. If you use this port, then it shouldn't beep. So that you're safe. Now you go on the other side, and no beep. So that means this wire is not connecting these two. Now you touch this wire, this here, and you hear a beep. And now you know your product is safe. Now you know for a fact that you put it in the right slot. So literally, literally, you can just use a use a meter to, to, to do it. 
if even if you are unsure or you're just an idiot to know that thing right there like somebody I post talked to me about certain things I just deleted his post by the way I didn't bother with him so now unloose this and stick that in there make sure it goes all the way in I don't think that's going all the way in sometimes this is a little bit bigger it won't it won't go all the way in so make sure to have it this wire here um, no it's not I'm gonna have to do single wire which I don't like but maybe you can flatten it yeah that's what I can do maybe I can flatten it because you wanted to flatten it sometimes flatten it would give you a space because you need that rubber thing I really want to use this folding like this right here see it so let me try it again okay it fits perfectly right in there now I just have to put my screw in tighten it and voila you can't yank it out no more if you do just redo it again no worries now we're gonna measure continuity one more time just to make sure touch here and touch your ground and you hear that beep so now you know okay now you just take this alligator clip and just put it onto here let's measure continuity one more time just to make sure safety 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 right ta-da you touch these let's try touching this one nope touching this one nope so now you know this is completely safe and then now check it one more time now you know it's grounded okay see sorry let me here touch here touch the ground and touch this see that's it so make sure these are all metal and it'll do just like that and let's say if it broke into whatever something happened just take it out and put another one in simple as that and you can get a few if you have few grounding stuff you just need one plug and then just few of these so literally you can just leave that clip there and just take the ground out or just unclip it whatever you want but this will make things a lot easier and simpler and then I'll show you a bunch of usage at the end of this video here um, I would use uh, I would uh, I have the video on a mat grounding mats I have grounding pillows I will make a grounding sheets video and I also have a Faraday cage too which I ground so I have quite a few uh, I'll link it at the end of the video here or on the side here this little thing right here you can see them all if you want during my videos I always do it now because I'm doing a lot of videos now so I can able to do those but anyway other than that that's about it quick easy and simple I don't know how simple more can you get from that but that's your uh, finished concept right there okay and I'm going to uh, take a picture later after I'm done with the video but that's it that's easy simple as that anyway I hope this video is helpful to you and um, go make one okay other than that I'll see you in the next video